Hi, this is Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church, and that is Broadway United Methodist Church there behind me. And it goes along with these verses that I have. It's Psalm 84, verse 1. It says, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. Oh, that was a good verse. Let's read one more. My soul longs, yes, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. So David is writing, and it seems to be he's writing in a time when he is he is no longer near the tabernacle of the Lord and the place where the Lord is, is worshipped. And he says, oh, how lovely is your dwelling place. How nice, how great it is to be in the place where you are worshipped. This is the place where we worship. And have you considered how lovely it is? That is a beautiful church. It has really a lot going for it, and its, and it's, and it's, its lines are beautiful. It's warm inside in the winter. It's cool inside in the summer. It's clean. It's attractive. How lovely indeed. Is God's dwelling place and why is it God's dwelling place because he meets us there God is of course everywhere he is even up there with the airplane that just went over but God God is also specifically present where communion is shared where the Word of God is preached where people pray and seek him and that's what David was longing for not only you know he could pray in the wilderness he does pray in the wilderness he records Psalms where he prayed in the wilderness but oh, it is wonderful to pray with God's people. It is wonderful to be in a place that has been set aside for the worship of Him. So we rejoice in this country. We have freedom of worship. We have freedom to build the houses of worship, to take care of them, to build memories within them. And one day we shall be in the presence of God Himself. And so that's one of the things we're looking at this, this week in church. And so I just ask you to remember how lovely is the dwelling place of God. Be, be at peace.